Hey, what's up and why pre my charges? It's Monster Tamer Animated back with another episode of Pokemon Adventures Red Chapter. So in the last episode we came here to Vermilion City. We did a lot of roundabout thing trying to um solve the mystery of who's who was stealing the Pokemon in Vermilion City. Turns out it was Lieutenant Surge and selling them off to Team Rocket, I think. Whatever, but he had them on the SS and we thwarted his plans. And then uh, we returned uh, Abra, who had evolved to Alakazam to uh, the Pokemon fan club leader, president. And he gave us a bike, a bike which I need to register on the select button. Hmm. Key items. All right, dojo band. What the hell is that for? Love letter. All right, register, use. And we're supposed to head to this route over here to take part in a bike racing contest. So let's go ahead and do that before I um, enter this gate. Please like, comment, subscribe. How do I get that item up there though? Well, anyway, do that and let's get into it. All right, all right, so let's go through here. Frankly, you have a bike, or oh, Frankie, that's his name. You have a bike, hey. Do you want to take part in the bike contest? Yes, great. Let's go. Attention all contestants, take your position. First off, I would like to thank Miracle Cycle for sponsoring this whole entire event. It's a 10 kilo kilometers race, an easy race, but there is a little surprise near the end of the, uh, I almost gave it away. Anyway, the first to make it to the finish line is the winner. Louis, ha! I'm going to win this competition. In your dreams, mate. Guys, guys, let's not fight. We're friends. Remember? Go! And they're off against me. Oh, so am I supposed to battle them? Let, let's see. Can I battle them? Kane, damn it. My bike is way too slow. I'm going to lose this race. Oh, whatever. This is a scripted thing, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to win either way. This is a circle. TM1 works. Work up. Uh, here, here it is. Here it is. So this is a scripted thing. Oh, we're underneath the Snorlax. Nathan, no, no. This Snorlax is blocking the way to the finish. Uh, to the finish line or whatever. Let's try to go around. Ugh, I can't squeeze through. Uh, this is his Snorlax, right? Ugh, I can't squeeze through. So what am I supposed to do here? Andrew, damn it. Is this supposed to be an obstacle? This is so lame. Yeah, why is a huge boulder in the middle of the road? That's weird. What's going on? Snore. Ah, it's a Snorlax. These things can sleep forever. What can I do to make it wake up? Guess I'll just have to attack it. Yeah, so this is one of his actual Pokemon. So, we're gonna... Try to catch it. All right, hold on, hold on. All right, all right. So let's fight this guy, Petal Storm. All right, we got a crit. Got paralyzed. Poison powder. Don't have any sleep powder. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did I take Thunder Wave away from Pikachu? Yes, I did. But I think we still have Static. If I shift out, right? He should attack first. He, it paralyzed us, but it didn't get the Static. Okay. So the game is working in your favor. Oh, we caught it with one ball. Okay, maybe it's scripted. Anyway, for his nickname, I think its nickname was supposed to be... In my mind, I remember in the nickname to be Lax, but Bulbapedia says it's Snore. So, let's go for Snore. I could swear it was, it was Lax, though when I was reading it. 
Another wild Pokemon here, Ekans. Bro, I, I wonder. I did a rare candy thing to level up my Pokemon in one of the before one of the episodes. A rare candy cheat. So I'm wondering if the cheat broke the game and increase the encounter rates of the Pokemon and also increase the critical hit chances. Is that is that is that what's happening here? Is that what's happening here? Cause I don't know how the hell these encounter rates are so freaking high, bro. And crit rates as well. You're not going anywhere. I'm going to defeat you and win this competition. You know you have to use cheat sometimes to level up, bro. Have to use the cheats. And also the paralysis freaking rates, bro. Sometimes you have to use the cheats to level up just to get. Because I had high level in. High, I, look at this shit. I had a high level. And the guys, the opponents were doing so much damage to me, so. And the XP I was gaining from battling the Pokemon was so small to level up three Pokemon, bro. So I just used the freaking cheat to get them all to level 20. Really? We had to get a confused. Hurt yourself in confusion. We had to get confused, right? Right. It's like all the effects of these moves, bro, are like a hundred. Look at that crit. It's like the effects for the moves are a hundred percent. It's a hundred percent percent chance for every effect to happen. That's what it looks like. Hundred percent chance for confusion. A hundred percent chance to be paralyzed and not be able to move the next turn. Hundred percent chance for a crit. That's what it looks like right now. So I'm wondering if that one little cheat broke the game, bro. Like, damn. Come in, Pika. Come on. Use a freaking Thunderbolt. Oh yeah, I did level up after the last episode as well. So that's why I have Thunderbolt. Finally, a good freaking electric move. I need to put Pikachu out front and take get Sar I mean Sar out of the front line. And we have a winner. Congratulations, kid. Here's your, here's the first prize. Take this Sunstone Rare Candy and five thousand Poké Dollars. And you can put the Sunstone in the pocket. So obtain a Rare Candy. Put rare Candy's item pocket. And it looks like the bike is broken. Better throw it away. End of bike contest chapter. Okay. What's what's this? It's been two weeks since I last saw Green. I wonder how he's doing. Do you want to play as Green? Okay, sure. Bonus chapter. Green's Tale ch chapter one. Two weeks ago. I don't think this was part of the original ROM hack because they had a Green chapter ROM hack that started, but it didn't go quite far. Same thing with Yellow. With Yellow. So this is Lavender Town, the place where the living and the dead live together in harmony. Cha cha. Come on, Charmeleon. Let's bury your friend. Your friend? You have a dead friend? Green? Oh, it's Eradicate. Eradicate, okay. So sleeping guys blocking that door. Where did my dodo wander off to? There it is, way up there. Let's, can we go find it? Oh, actually, we can't get up there. So, let's go to the tower. There's a Radita. Oh, we can. Oh, here it is. Hmm? A Doe Duo. There, there's an old man running. Oh, good. You found my Doe Duo. Thank you so much, young man. My Doe Duo is getting old. He occasionally wanders off. I was so worried. Don't you... Don't scare me like that. This again. Whatever. Hmm. You look really familiar. You kind of remind me of my friend, Samuel Oak. My name is Green Oak. Samuel Oak is my grandpa. <laughs> I can definitely see the resemblance between the two of you. Your grandpa and I go way back. 
Let me introduce myself. I am Mr. Fuji. Nice to meet you. Hi. Oh my. Why are we even talking in this rain? Let's get out of this storm first. I wouldn't want to catch a cold. Okay, so we, we go to Mr. Fuji's house, I guess. Alright, here it is. You know what? It's pouring outside. Why don't you rest here tonight? I guess I can do the thing tomorrow. Thank you. Da -na -na. Got healed the next day. Hmm. Oh, you're awake. You're a deep sleeper, aren't you? How long have I been sleeping for? Hmm. Where's your doduo? My doduo passed away this morning in his sleep. He's in a better place now. I'm sorry for your loss. It's all right. My doduo lived a ripe old to a ripe old age, whatever. I'm just glad that I was able to be with him till the very end. Oh yeah, I'm curious, Green. Why are you visiting Lavender Town? We don't get many tourists or trainers. I'm here to bury my eradicate. She was injured on the SS Anne. I couldn't get to the Pokemon Center in time. My eradicate didn't make it. Oh, no, that's terrible. It's my fault. I was too headstrong and overly confident anyway. So now I'm here to bury my eradicate in the Pokemon Tower. No, not the Pokemon Tower. That tower is haunted by ghosts. Ghosts don't exist. But it's true. Whatever, I'm going to the Pokemon Tower to bury my eradicate. And at the same time, show you that there's no such thing as ghosts. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Are there any items on, around here? Stay away from... Shut up, I don't care. <laughs> okay, bro, bro, bro. Why so hostile? So hostile, green. Okay, we got a super potion. Should we have, should we have left that for red? Or anim? Agatha is here, though. Girl, I know you. You're that old coot's grandson. You will pay, you will pay. Why does she say you'll pay every time? Hmm. You can feel it too, right? Something isn't right. There are no ghosts here. Only a coward come out. You coward. <laughs> hmm? Ah! End of Green's Tale. First chapter or cha one chapter, that's what it says. Anyway, we're back to being red. Have you ever been to the Orange Archipelago? Archipelago? <laughs> it's so tropical there. I'm not a good trainer, so I'm just going to give away this weird egg. That makes sense. Oops, you have way too many Pokemon with you. By the way, let me go back and get uh, Snorlax. Uh, let me backtrack through here. Sorry guys, just gonna speed this up just to get a bit get there a bit quicker. I know, I know you don't want to see me backtrack all the way there in the slow speed, so let's... Alright, deposit. Let's deposit. Store Cubone. Store Mankey. We're gonna withdraw... Snore. I forgot that, that, that I had caught the Meowth to use Payday. Alright, put Snore out front. So you can get some levels. Heal. And then get back to that guy with the egg. What was in the egg, by the way? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Alright. So let's go upstairs. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me the egg, bro. Got a mysterious egg. Kai, it's time for me to pursue a career in science. Bye. Thank you for the egg. Let me get out of here. Alright, so rainy, 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 rainy. Oh, it's a battle. The best Pokemon comes out at night. I base this information out of nothing. <laughs> okay, bro. Preppy Brian, need arena. Snore. Why does Snorlax's um thing look like this? Why why does he have so all stupid attacks, bro? 
I'm still getting crit all the time. Bro, we got we got bro. <sighs> I'm really hating this thing right now. I get crit on every attack, bro. Every single attack. I don't want to get poison point, so I just want look at that. Every single attack in the game crits. A critical hit. Alright, alright. So anyway, let's move on. Freaking Snorlax passed out as soon as I got it. Gonna revive it. No, not him. Alright, so let me get out of here. Uh, I, was stuck. I got stuck on the PG. Venonat's cool. Like, really, bro? I don't know who made this game, bro, but all the moves that you put on Red's Pokemon are trash. Why? Of course it would hurt it. It would hurt itself in confusion. I'm just trying to get a, get some EXP, bro. Like damn. Quick attack. Okay, let me heal again. Oh, I'm playing it this time at night. Like actual night this time. I actually play the game in the mornings or at the night time. So most times you're going to see the game setting at night, even though that's not what it's supposed to be. There are many different types of Pokeballs. A great ball is stronger than blah, blah, blah. All right, all right, get off my screen. Oh, come on. Let's move on to the next event. Is this one? No, oh, no. I have a friend called Delia. She lives in Pallet Town. That's all. Oh, this, this is a battle. Carp. You should be able to take out Magic Carp. Snorlax. Even though your moves suck. My guy doesn't have pound or anything. He has a lick, pursuit, and belly drum. Look at that. I thought it, the thing fainted, bro. It has one HP. The bar can't even you can't even see the bar. Goldine. I don't wanna use belly drum because that's gonna you're gonna hurt yourself in confusion. Yeah, of course. They always freaking do. Alright, I think it's time to switch out to Pikachu. This game is stressing me out right now, bro. Bro, why why do they always hurt themselves on the first freaking attack? Like what the hell? What kind of voodoo coding did you do for this game, bro? Come on, man. Nah. Bye. Get off my screen so I can go and do something else. Let me backtrack go up here. What's here? It's a grave frigging yard. Who's this? Shh. I'm digging up a grave here. Why, you weirdo? I'm a single guy with needs. What? Yo, bro. What kind of edgelord shit is that? 
A long time ago, before you or me even born, this used to be an ancient city. So then one night, the entire city was destroyed. After a while, this era was then converted to, into a river. What destroyed it? No one knows. What are these weird writings on stone? Historians have been trying to decipher these writings for many years now, but none has even come close to decoding it. Bonus chapter, Relic Beast. Okay, I don't know this chapter. I made some choices in my life that I'm not proud of, blah, blah, blah. So how do I do this chapter? Mom? Oh, honey, I really miss you. What are you doing in a graveyard, mom? I'm here for Delia. Delia, whatever. Who? Delia. Delia, thank you, Mela. I'm ready to head back to Pallet Town. Are you sure, Delia? We can stay a bit longer. No, it's okay. Really, thanks, Mela. Why, you must be Anim. Nice to meet you, Delia. Young man, where are your manners? It's Miss Ketchum. Oh, Delia Ketchum for you. So sorry, Miss Ketchum. Haha, <laughs> it's alright. Nice to meet you, Anim. Milo, I'm going to say goodbye to Cliff before we leave. Okay. Poor woman, she has no one left in her life. Her husband Pete is dead and it's really such a shame. He, ha he was handsome, charming, and kind to his friends and family. I remember getting really jealous whenever I see Delia and Pete together because they were always so happy, but good things never last, son. I can still remember the day when Delia heard the news that Pete died in the war. She cried and cried, and eventually she stopped crying, but she never smiled again, not the same way at least. You can feel pain behind that smile of hers. Doesn't Miss Ketchum have a son? Uh, yeah, that's what I was about to say, Mom. Well, look at the time. I got to go. Take care of yourself. Why are you adv <laughs> Why did you avoid her having a son? Here lies Pete Ketchum. He will be forever missed. Okay. That was interesting. Jenny, what do you want? Hi. Forget it. I'm too tired. Coming here really drains my energy anyway. I'm just here visiting a deceased Ghastly. Wait, Ghastly can, can die? Someday, someday, this will be my home. Uh, okay, lady. Thick club. Alright, so how do I do that relic chapter? Oh, here's the old guy. I wonder what destroyed the ancient city. So how am I supposed to know? Uh, how am I supposed to know that? You just told me something and then you, you dipped. You dipped, bro, and started a chapter. How am I supposed to know? There's something we're writing. Dark relic, huh? The dark relic. What what the freak is a dark relic, bro? Is there a hidden item around here that I don't know of? Mm, I don't know. So am I supposed to press A on all these gravestones? Click on all these gravestones to see if something happens? Like I, I'm not a it's a tombstone. I'm not aware of this chapter in the manga. Here lies Plankton, okay. It's a tombstone. Here lies Ronald Trump. Ronald Trump. Alright, so what about this dark this dark relic? Whatever. Okay, let me get out of here, bro. Wasting too much time. Elixir. Let me go and speak to the old guy one more time to see if he has any idea what the dark relic is. I wonder what destroyed the ancient city. Nope. And I don't either. So let's get out of here. In the name of the moon, I'll punish you. Blah, blah, blah. Serena. Serena with a meowth. Let's use pursuit. Rain continues to fall. Continues to rain. See, if we had to use Belly Drum and that hit us down, we'd be down for the count. Alright, stay in. At least I'm not seeing crits all over the place anymore. But did get a flinch. And he's gonna get knocked out by a faint. Attack. 
Alright, switch to Sar. Do some damage, Sar, come on. It's the most useless Ivy Sar I've ever used, bro. Alright, so Skitty's coming out. Alright, so I'll stop blaming the guy. Whoever created the game, it wasn't your fault. With the high encounter rates and the high crit rates. It was mine. It was mine because I used the cheat. I figured it out. It was mine because I used the cheat in the game. So I take that back. It wasn't your coding. <laughs> but anyway. It's been a long freaking game. Long episode so far, and I'm in a bonus chapter that I don't know what it is. It's raining so heavily. Yeah. I got to find a place for shelter. Why do you guys never in um, um, include Bulbasaur? Well, oh, in the cutscenes. That's because I evolved it to Ivysaur. It wasn't supposed to evolve yet. So that's why it's not in the cutscenes, because I have an Ivysaur and not a Bulbasaur. Oh, that might be it. That might be it. I'm not sure, but that might be it. Um, excuse me. Hmm? Jeez, is this Lavender Town or leave them their town? I need to find a shelter badly. Okay, we're that close to Lavender Town. Let's go to Mr. Fuji. I'm sorry, but can I stay here until the rain stops? Sure, of course. A few hours later. Thank you. You know, I was surprised that you even allowed me to stay in your house. Everyone else in town is so rude. People here have become slaves to their own fears. Come with me. Uh, um, mind if I ask what are you doing? Just pay my respect to my dojiro. He lived the right old age, but his time has come at last. I also want to pay my respect. Okay, thank you. Do you also like Pokemon? Yes, sir. Oh, and who are you? Oh, uh, where are my manners? Hmm. You can call me Mr. Fuji. For many years, this town is said to be the gathering place for the deceased to honor those souls and give them a place to rest. The people of Lambert in the town erected the Pokemon Tower. You mean that tower is a cemetery? If it's a cemetery, then why didn't you just build your memorial there? Well, the thing is, no one dares to venture near that tower due to the recent sightings of ghosts. <laughs> ghost, he says. Pokemon ghost. <laughs> you saw the town folks fear in your eyes. They have become so terrified of the ghosts that they had forgotten how to trust one another. They won't even make eye contact with strangers. All I want is to give the do give my dodo a nice place to rest in peace instead of this weed infested alleyway. <laughs> but ghost, really? <laughs> You sound just like the other lad I've met called Green. Green? You know that lad? Yeah, he's my rival. Where is he now? Ah, he passed by the town earlier before I lost my do duo, just like you. When I told him about the ghost, he laughed it off, then ran off to the Pokemon Tower thinking that he would prove us all wrong, but that was two weeks ago. Huh? So Green is missing? That guy's personality could use some improvement, but as a trainer, He's the real deal. He doesn't go down easy, so what could have put him out of action for two whole weeks? Could it really be? Could the tower indeed be haunted by ghosts? I need to investigate whatever it said. Alright. Before I do that, let me just chat to these people. God gave us four eyes. Uh, old lady, what's up with you? Hello, I'm fortune teller. Do you want to uh, No, 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 no. Um, um, I can see that you are a trainer. Thank you, there's no refund. Bitch, I accidentally pressed that shit and she took a grand from me for nothing. Take your Pokemon, leave me. What? She literally pushed us and said, take your Pokemon, leave you trash. What the frig? What's up with these people? Mosby's re Mosby's residence. Who the hell is Mosby? After grab Grabbing the tails of a nine tails, I keep getting this recurring nightmare where I was a Gengar. Okay, that's 
<laughs> little hint, hint on Red Rescue Team, Pokemon Red Rescue Team. Hi, I'm a Sailor Ted. I used to work on an SSN. I have... Have you met my friend Greg? He lives in Vermilion City. Man, F you and Greg. I'm not from around here, but the people here sure are rude. If they, they are, bro, they are. I mean, sis. I'm a Pokemon move maniac. I have the power to see every move I want to see bring me to. Tiny mushrooms or a big mushroom and I can help you relearn a move. Hmm. I can smell mushrooms. Do you need help to relearn a part to get less? Let's go. Snorlax could use a, use a move. Which move should you relearn? Tackle, swagger, rock slide, wild chat. Bro, look at these good ass moves. Bro, a rock slide. If it's not 100% accurate, it's 50% accurate. So I'm going to go for Bulldoze. Bulldoze will do a lot more damage than anything that I have right now, even though it's not Stab. But let me get rid of Yawn. Hurry up, hurry up. Thank you. All right. I need Mushroom. No, no, no. If your Pokemon needs to learn a move, I need two tiny mushrooms or big mushroom. Yeah, bye. My son is gaining a lot of weight. He really needs to start doing some exercises. But he's good because he helped us out with the freaking rem remembering the moves. All right, so before I do anything else, I'm just going to enter the tower and see what happened. I know what you're thinking. You think that this tombstone should be my grave? Mm, no, I didn't. You will pay, you will pay. Or uh, whatever. I still need to find this relic thing, dark relic. Anyway, maybe I find it up the tower. What? What? Here lies a handsome devil. Whatever. Let's just enter the tower and then in the next episode I'll take it from there. Okay, so nothing happened. Uh, let's go around just the first floor. All right, so I guess the next we should go upstairs. So in the next episode I'll take definitely take on the Pokemon Tower, the cemetery, and find Green. Because he's missing. But if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Big up your damn self. Peace. Oh, like, comment, subscribe. And check out a lot. Check out the previous video or another video. Left, bottom left. Or top right. Thank you. Bye.